So, you want to try cottage cheese, but you live in an apartment. Well, step one, buy a cottage and look in the refrigerator. It should be in there. Hey guys, I'm Batats by Kai. I'm Kai and Taylor back once again taking a look at how to make, uh, how to turn lines into actual meshes. So, for instance, if I go ahead and drag a box over top of our entire scene here, hit delete, and then hit shift A and search for a curve. We're going to be turning a curve into, a, uh, into an actual mesh. So, let's say you want to go ahead and use a Bezier curve. Um, hit tab to go into edit mode. Maybe you're trying to make some kind of like, you know, weird shape mesh and you don't want to go and, you know, model the whole thing and have it take a super long time. Go ahead and just, you know, uh, make a curve. Hit tab. We go into edit mode. Grab each point and hit G to move it around. G to move that. And then click one of them. Hit E to extrude. You know, R to rotate, whatnot, you know, and then hit E again, extrude it. You know, maybe you have some weird shape like this. Maybe, I don't know what this is, but maybe you want to make this, you know? So then next after we do that, we're going to go down to the curves tab down here. And you can see you have a couple things going on here, but we're going to open up the ge geometry tab, the geometry, um, and we're going to go ahead and turn the uh, extrude value up a little bit. So you can see when we turn that up, it's, it, you can see that it actually starts doing something, but the issue with this is that it's completely flat. So unless you want like a little ribbon, well, if you want a ribbon, you're done. Congratulations. But if you don't want a ribbon, make sure you turn all, extrude all the way back down to zero and then scroll on down here to the depth. And you can see when we turn the depth up, you can see, boom, it turns into a little snake, a little pipe, a little drain, you know, something, something you're doing. I don't know what you're making, but you're making something that looks like this, which is really, really cool. Um, and I can see how it's a little low poly ish. It has like some, you know, chunks so we can turn the resolution up a little bit, you know, make it look really nice. Um, look really cool like that, you know, you know, and then we can also hit fill caps to make the ends um, covered up. We can also go ahead and go to the modifiers tab here and add in a subdivision surface to smooth out the rest of those little pieces there and get those uh, looking all nice and, uh, and good together, which looks really, really cool. Now, um, with that all done, you can see we basically have uh, everything we want. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna put the resolution to 16, um, just for a nice even number. Um, and then uh, we can, I'm gonna turn fill caps back on. So you can see now if we were to go ahead and extrude this again, you know, hit E, rotate it around, you know, do some cool shapes. We can make any shape that we want, which is really, really, really cool. You can change the, the thickness by changing the depth up and down, make it super thick, make it super skinny. Um, but yeah, make a little cord. You can make wires like this. This is a great way to make cord wires, like for um, technology. It's a great way to make hair strands or um, ropes or uh, vines or leaves in the jungle or something. It, it, this is a great way to do a lot of different things, but especially for wires or cables or something. If you're making a room or something that has that be plugged in to a wall, anything. Um, so yeah, hope you ladies and gentlemen le learned something new today. If you want to go ahead and convert this to a mesh, you can go ahead and uh, oh, you can go ahead and uh, and do this in, in, a, in a couple ways. So you can go up to object and then go to convert and then just hit mesh. And now we hit, when you hit tab, you can see that you can see the actual vertices and you can click and move the vertices instead of being able to move the actual individual pieces and, and the loops and, and, and whatnot. But you also have to go ahead and make sure you turn, you, you put the uh, subdivision surf, surface modifier back on as well when you, when you do that. So yeah, make sure you have everything like, you know, modeled the way that you want and then you can convert it. But I don't even think you really need, need to convert it most of the time. You can probably just leave it as a curve like this. So. Like I said, get out there and make some cool stuff. I uh, hope to uh, see you in the next video. If you guys enjoyed it, let me know down below as always. Don't forget to subscribe if you did enjoy it. I would really appreciate that. I'll see you ladies and gentlemen in the next one. But until then, bye-bye.